Hello and welcome to City Scene, a TV program about your city government. And today we're on the Greenway. It's a great place to walk or bike. We're talking about biking even though we're walking, right? Right. All right. This is Katie Webb from our Bicycle Pedestrian Commission. How are you, Katie? I'm doing great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks for coming on the show. Of course. Now, month May, let me get this right, May is Bicycle Month. Is that right? National Bicycle Month is in the month of May. Okay. And Bike to School Day is May 7th. Uh-huh. So uh, the Eastern Carolina Injury Prevention will be putting on some bike to school events, mm -hmm. having people uh, bike to school in safe routes to right. school. And um, then we've got Bike to Work Week. Which bike to Work Week we did a couple of years ago uh, with some success, trying to get some more steam and more people involved in it. And I actually see more people biking to work on my way into work now too. Yes, it actually, um, from in the last 10 years, mm -hmm. it has increased by 47% the amount of people who commute to work on their bike. Wow. Um, and since most people live within five miles of where they work, it's actually a really safe and fun way to get to work. So um, the 12th through the 16th of May is Bike to Work Week. Okay, for folks who have never biked to work, mm -hmm. but perhaps they're interested in doing it, what kind of tips can you give them to make it a, a better experience for them? Well, make yourself visible. Mm -hmm. um, of course, if you start work early in the day, you want to make sure you're wearing lighter materials so that people can see you. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to need something like a backpack um, or something called a pannier, which fits on the side of your bike. Most people don't have those, but a backpack works great okay. um, to get your stuff to work. And then also just make sure to bring a chain and wear a helmet, of course, being safe. That's a good idea. And, and I like the visibility thing, you know. Yeah. You want the bright colors, just like on a motorcycle, where people can see you right. and you stand out. Right. All right, now some of the rules for the road for bikers and for people driving. Remember to give the bikers about a three foot wide berth between the car and the biker, especially the newer bikers that are getting out there. You don't want them to get nervous, right? Right, exactly. Make sure to give them a wide uh, berth when you're going around them. Mm -hmm. um, bicycles are part of normal traffic, so mm -hmm. they aren't really supposed to ride on the sidewalk. But um, if you see one riding in the road, just make sure to give them some space and uh, make sure to keep an eye out for them. That's right. And also, if you're a biker that's new to biking on the roads, because you've always ridden on the, on the sidewalks, uh, what sidewalks there are, yeah. remember to go with traffic, not against traffic. That's right. You're a part of normal traffic. That's right. Now, these little safety tips are good for us, but I understand one of the other things you guys are doing is actually holding a training session, right? Yes. On um, May 17th, which is a Saturday, there'll mm -hmm. be a training session uh, where you'll learn more of the rules of the road. Uh, there'll also be some instruction on how to change a bike tire in case you're halfway to work and you find that you got a flat mm -hmm. um, and other different training tips that will be um, easy to learn and it's for anyone from age 14 and up it doesn't have to be only people biking to work how much does that cost i think it's free of charge we um, love that it's yeah, free and if yeah. it wasn't free before guess what it is now it is now yeah uh, one of the commission members is <laughs> um is registered with the league of american Bicy bicyclists to teach the class so he will be offering it as part of bike to work week he's a member of the league does he have like tights and a cape kind yeah, of like citizens like, academy man does yeah like um um captain america we That's were just awesome. talking about that's right Captain America, on your left, never mind. If you haven't seen the movie, never mind. All right, where can people find more information about May being Bike Month or the week that you guys are doing? Oh, you also have other events, don't you? We like have a, two. Okay. Uh, um, one will be a bike ride that is going to actually start right here in Green Springs Park where we're standing here today. Um, it happens on Sunday, May 18th at mm -hmm. 2 p.m. And um, members of City Council and members of the Greenville Bicycle and Pedestrian Commission, of which I'm a member, will be riding this trail all the way down to the dog park and back. It's kind of a short route, but anyone can take part in this. It's open to the public. We will have those commission members and the city council members there for you to also um, get to say hi to and, and uh, ride with. Should be a lot of fun, and, and even though there may be uh, a large number of council members. It's not technically a council meeting. They're just going to be enjoying themselves like right. you or I would. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. It'll be a good time. Hey, great ch chance to meet your uh, city council members or members of the Bike Pedestrian Commission. Right. The other uh, event we're doing is part of the First Friday Art Walk. Mm -hmm. uh, at 6 p.m. on May 2nd, we are going to have people meet at the really pretty uh, bike rack that's mm -hmm. over by Five Points Plaza. Mm -hmm. You can take a, uh, take a scenic route around downtown and part of the Greenway. It's going to take less than an hour so you can still enjoy the First Friday uh, art and food of downtown afterwards. Um, First Friday ends at 8 so 
more than enough time to also check out everything they have to offer there. Okay, so that's Friday, May 2nd at what time? Uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yes. Outstanding. And where can people turn for more information about this? Uh, we have a uh, website through the Greenville uh, City website. There'll also mm -hmm. be some things on social media. And um, you can also contact the commission members for more details if you wish. So easiest thing then, greenvalency.gov or mm -hmm. go to the city's Facebook page as well. That sounds exactly right. Katie, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Wonderful having you on the show. Thank you very much.